literature research thank you all for joining us today for taking the time out in your precious time and making to this event so i now welcome professor mrs suda, suda for welcome, welcome address To welcome is to show honor. To welcome is to establish integrity. A warm and graceful morning to one and all present in this virtual session. I am delighted to deliver the welcome address on this August occasion. On behalf of the Department of Management Studies, Dandraj Bay Jain College, Chennai, I cordially welcome Secretary Administration, Dr. Harish L. Mehta, Secretary Finance and Secretariat, Sri Jasmine Thunoth, Principal in Charge, Dr. C. Murugesan, Professor in Charge, Dr. M. Sathiravi Mudan, to the sixth National Virtual Conference on Innovation and Advances in Interdisciplinary Research. A noble endeavor of knowledge summit such, such as this needs the support of distinguished dignitaries. I heartily welcome Dr. Samamurthy Padmavati, Principal and Associate Professor, PG and Research Department of Commerce, Sri S.S. Shasan Jain College for Women, Chennai, for accepting her invite amidst her busy schedule and eliminating the inaugural session by her presence. We welcome you, ma'am. I extend a warm welcome to technical chat persons, Dr. S. Tamil Darasi, Dr. V. Victor Solomon, Dr. M. Bharati Dasan, and Dr. M. Saranya. We welcome you all. I'm extremely happy to welcome diversified delegates, eminent scholars, and dear students to this virtual conference. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much, says Helen Keller. I'm also specially welcoming the head of the department, organizing committee members, and staff of our college to this conference. I welcome you all once again. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I now welcome our head of the department, Dr. A. Narmada, for conference theme. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning, one and all present here. I heartily welcome all of you for our sixth national conference. Guest of the inaugural session, Dr. Sambamurthy Batmavadi, Principal and Associate Professor, PG and Research Department of Commerce. Sri S.S. Sasan J. College for Women, Chennai. Respected Secretary and Administration, Dr. Harishal Mehta, and Secretary Academic and Finance, Sri Jaswant Muno, and Honorable Committee Members of the Trust. Respected Principal, Principal in Charge, Dr. C. Murugesan, Respected Professor in Charge, Dr. Saktivel Murugan, Learned Professor, My Dear Colleagues, Delegates, Research Scholars, and My Dear Students. Greetings to all of you. I am very pleased to be here today for the opening of the conference on innovation and advances in interdisciplinary business research, organized by Department of Management Studies, Dandraj Bay Jain College, Chennai. In innovation and in the disciplinary approach is necessary for exploring the most critical challenges facing the business world today. The main objective of the conference is to explore the benefit of the existing knowledge in the field to establish the interdisciplinary model as, well as a research method and innovative approach that links the business related to discipline and new ideas that have been shaped based on the real world perspectives. This conference addresses both the real-world problems and academic needs in the way of synthesizing the ideas 
and the integration integration of knowledge the conference aims to provide a forum for the exchange of ideas on the latest innovation and advancement in the field of interdisciplinary business research the main theme of this conference the innovation and advances in interdisciplinary business research will cover various sub themes under the following areas in hr the knowledge management leading with impact then cross cultural issues diversity in workplace and talent management digital hrm and ethical issues in work from home culture organizational changes in new era of globalization in marketing cross marketing the innovative advertising techniques online marketing sustainable consumption behavior international marketing the customer relationship management in finance uh, financial policies institution and regulations venture capital social banking and microfinance e accounting account uh, banking and regulations and challenges faced in financial technology services in industry accounting challenges best practices in corporate governance efficiency and performance of financial institution and bank bank branches in information technology cloud computing artificial intelligence big data and analysis in business green technologies electronic data interchange business analytics and big data internet things on the industries for 4.0 applying new ict tools for business cyber security in business artificial intelligence descriptive technologies and blockchain business intelligence we have received around 120 research papers i express my heartfelt thanks to active participation of academicians research scholars prof- professionals and students of our national conference after the inaugural session this conference will provide an opportunity for the researchers and practitioners to share their understanding of current process and findings the technical resource persons are dr s tamil selvi associate professor and head department of commerce college of science and humanities srm institute of science and technology kottagurthu dr bharathi dasan assistant professor department of commerce dr ambedkar government arts and science college the vyasar padi chennai dr b victor solomon principal james arts arts and science college sanai nagar chennai Dr. E. M. Saranya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, PKR Arts and Science College, Kovichetti, Palayam, E. Road. The validity session will start at 4 p.m. The validity address will be given by Dr. E. Sarah Peruma, Head of HR West Cost IT in Limited, Chennai. The committee will welcome uh, innovative proposals that look to the future of the field and expand and rethink the current practices. The overall program will in, uh, result in interesting and interactive. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, ma'am. I now welcome Professor Yes Kas Kartika to introduce our chief guest. Thank you, ma'am. I heartily welcome our chief guest, Dr. Shambhamurthy Patmavati. She is currently the principal and associate professor in PG Research and Department of Commerce at Sri S. S. Shashan Jain College for Women. Ma'am is a recognized member of the doctoral committee, University of Madras, as well as a lifetime member of Indian Commerce Association. Ma'am is a recognized PhD Commerce Guide in University of Madras. Ma'am has a total teaching experience of 27 years. Yes, ma'am. As a total of eighteen journal publication, out of which nine are UGC listed and one is Scopus Index. Ma'am has completed PhD in University of Madras. Has completed MCom in SIET College for Women. Ma'am has also completed Genealogy in Sasan Jain College and secured gold medal. Ma'am also has worked in various institutions. Ma'am received Dr. Radha Krishnan Teaching Excellence Award from Lions Club and received India Star Arabic Award 2020 for educational work from India Star Book of Record. Ma'am also received an award on Women's Day from Shruti, a wing of International Women's Day. Also received Best Teacher Award 
from Rotary Club and National Green Corps on 2021. Ma'am is a Senior Member in University of Madras. Ma'am is nominated by University of Madras as Member in Inspection Committee. She got recognition in PhD Department of Commerce in Bhaktavachalam College. Once again, I welcome you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you very much uh, uh, for a wonderful uh, uh, introduction and also for making this day a wonderful day uh, by conducting this uh, international conference. And I congratulate the organizers for conducting it for the sixth year and the sixth time. I know that it is not that easy to host any uh, international conferences. It takes a lot of time, energy, and also we need to spend our brain in uh, uh, in brainstorming on what topic we would go so that it is beneficial to all the stakeholders. So my hearty congratulations and uh, my heartfelt thanks to the management of DB Jain College, the professor in charge, principal, and my dear friends who are there and all the other staff members the technical persons and the research scholars and the participants of the conference. Uh, I would just take five minutes of time to uh, just uh, share with you my thoughts about uh, what do this particular topic, innovation and advances in interdisciplinary business research is all about. Now, when I was looking at this particular topic, I could see a word innovation, interdisciplinary, Business research. Now, all the three, even if they stand alone, gives a meaning. Innovation, always we take it as a creativity, thinking differently, uh, think for uh, to fulfilling the necessities uh, because innovation happens when we, when we really need something. We always think when we are starving for something. And what is this interdisciplinary? I mean, of course, the human being life itself is interdependent. Each of us are dependent on other. And so I think the whole universe has taught us that nothing can be independent, but it becomes more effective when each other depend on other. So I think interdisciplinary is very important word. And business research, like Business research, we can talk so many things about how you can develop a business. Now people talk about innovation, I mean, incubation centers, how to make a, a business out of it, how we can make a, a self-employment, social entrepreneurship, so and so, I mean, blah, blah, blah. You have a lot of things. But when we coin all this as one particular theme, innovation advances in interdisciplinary research, I thought that I can give you some good examples as to what it could mean. Probably let us take the real estate industry. It's all about building a, uh, I mean, making a building, raise up a building. But it has something, a part of law in it, legal procedures. Before we could go for building, we need a land. How do we acquire a land? So this acquisition of land, it is not only with a civil engineer. That's what I mean. It, it has its legal part of it. How do we acquire a land? Who are the owners? What are the legal legality attached with that? How do we go about the authorities, the, the, the register office, all that kind of a thing? What are the actual legal charges which are behind that? And then come up with the total cost of construction or raising of the building, taking into consideration everything that goes into the building, be it a brick or a sand or plumbing or whatever it is, painting, electricals, everything comes into the end. So, see, one building, to raise up one building, I need to know where land is available. So, that search is a different discipline. Legal uh, legality approach is a different discipline and understanding what are all the other components like electrical, plumbing, civil uh, and other things. Now, when we have this component, we cannot ignore the part of the management in the sense that who will market it? If there is no taker, what is that the real estate people are going to do? So we need to have marketing, a basis of how do I promote it? 
and not only that once we come across with the land which is available i think i need an architect who can really plan as to how it can go i mean i will be really surprised to know that we will even we need the help of the astrologer who can talk about the vastu shastra so that where the kitchen has to be placed where the uh, restroom has to be placed where the uh, uh, the dining hall has to be placed so even that comes into it it is not only the question of an architect an architect may draft it a draftsman may draft a plan but who will design it and a marketing team would really like to know a model with uh, so that they can show it to the customers and make them the customers delight and make them understand this and then it comes into it so now just see we 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 think about a building is a part of a real estate or a civil we may be i mean i know that many of you must know what i am talking about uh, but we we i mean probably we ignore that there is a holistic approach which is uh, there behind every single discipline civil engineering is one only one discipline or say real estate is a one business for such real estate business we need people of expertise from different fields and the skilled laborers that is what is very important how much ever we come up with an idea if that is not been properly built by a mason i don't think so it will come up the way we want it so it it goes with that so to my knowledge i understand that every discipline when we do a research we need to have a holistic approach this holistic approach is nothing but understanding what are all the other disciplines which go into it so make a proper research on all these every, every to come up a building all these kind of research happens research does not happen just with phd it does not stop or a project to be submitted to government or any other thing it is not so even every day's life we have a research talk to your mother her research from the, the the morning that she get up is what is the breakfast that she makes what is the lunch that she makes what is the dinner that she make a little 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 research goes into it she goes and finds out what are all the other things that she can make so that she can serve the same idli with a very beautiful way i always say about a pizza though uh, we call it a pizza the base does not have anything what is the topping that we give that topping goes with too many things in that that is what is a research also your research is no more concerned only with a particular stream even if i take a research in commerce i need to know a little bit of science another example i would say people have been talking about consumerism and those days it was something when we go to the shop they will receive us very nicely they will give us a see they will show lot of the products that are available but gone are those days now the information technology has taken its role after covid uh, i hardly find people going to the uh, shops but for very necessities other things it's being ordered at home uh, in the internet and come so how do we socialize that how do i create myself very strong in the internet platform also so that i can attract my customer artificial intelligence is one such thing that yesterday if i bought a paste on online to put is coming into the business it comes and gives me come on you might be liking it say take for example netflix if i see a genre uh, say uh, a comedy uh, next day when a comedy movie is going to be uh, released in the ott platform i get the uh, 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 intimation that come on you may be interested padmavati you may be interested because you have watched that particular movie so this is the world all about and uh, when i was talking about idli that makes a lot of sense if people had visited bangalore they might know how the biggest i it's not a huge cafe but they are all very good idli shops available which make their idlis very unique with the chutney in bangalore they do not many of the rest, many of the cafes do not serve uh, sambar but the chutney is so popular that big for the sake of the chutney people go to the idli shop we say we say that it's only idli no so that is what is understanding what my customer would like to have or what is that my customer has not yet tasted why don't i go for that so it involves lot of things and every business now involves uh, the it technology without the even this conference we have been having it only uh, physically uh, uh, i mean thanks to corona it has taught us that we we have every uh, other platforms or every way 
that's what interdisciplinary research or be it a business research or a plain research it teaches us that there are n number of ways available and each way is interlinked between among themselves and when we look into this we need to have a holistic approach of understanding everything which is around me uh, in, in we are in tnagar and uh, you know that tnagar is the biggest retail shops available in asia and everything is available but still i used to tell my students if you want to have a shop in the tnagar understand go and do a research and understand what is not available which could be picked up by the customers say for example everywhere you have lot of eatables but i, I don't, don't find, find hardly a most in availability in tnagar So, so why, why don't we market it? Uh, why, why don't we come, come up with a most? All, all these kind, of, so all this. If you look into Swiggy, uh, they just started with the food industry. Now they are into groceries. They are connecting the people. Done so for that matter. Uh, we would not even thought of if I have to send, uh, say for example, I forgot my uh, specs in the house, and I have come to the college. So what we used to do, we used to ask our people, if you are going by day, come on, come and bring it. See that somebody has picked up. Yeah, come on, I have a business. Uh, why don't I do this? People need help on this. That is what is Denso is all about. I'm not marketing the particular brand. What I uh, really see, I'm just uh, telling to you. Like that, Ola and Uber, they don't own the cars at all. But thousands and thousands of cars are being on the roads through Ola and the, uh, because they have thought differently. interdisciplinary is not only thinking differently but approaching this discipline with the help of the other disciplines is uh, what i think uh, thank you very much for your patience listening this interdisciplinary business research needs a lot of multitasking we need to have a clear vision being fixed and need to have a very good goals and ensure that uh, equal focus is given on every discipline that is attached with our main uh, vision or the goal which is being focused on so uh, i think uh, whatever is the my perspective about uh, this uh, innovation and interdisciplinary business why i did not touch more upon innovation is thinking differently itself is innovation only when thinking happens if there is no happens. thinking there is, no, there is no thinking there so is no innovation so that is why i did not touch so that is why i did not touch up more uh, probably upon that. the uh, probably the thinking all the necessities or the danzo the danzo is an innovation innovation that they have thought, that is what that is why what they, are they, are they are being successful, being successful. Uh, if i am successful, successful, successful in the business today, today i cannot I can stop, stop with that i need innovate innovate so that a sustainability is there and i am able to support that sustainability by innovating and 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 innovating foresee the challenges before that it could come that probably that is what is innovation we bring something which before it could actually happen or it becomes a challenge for the industry uh, thank you very much for your patient listening this is my perspective towards the topic thank you and wish you all the very best thank you ma'am thank you for the knowledge share It was very wonderful we have come to the end of this inaugural session i'd like to call anbaladan sir for proposing the vote of thanks thank you madam venita ma'am sorry renita ma'am uh, we need to uh, re release our conference proceeding ma'am sorry we'll go for conference proceedings Anita, ma'am, you can proceed, ma'am. Sir, I can continue the quote of thanks. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Good morning to all. It is my privilege to propose the vote of thanks for sixth national conference innovation and advance in interdisciplinary business research organized by Department of Management Studies, DBJ Jain College, Chennai. I would like to express my profound gratitude to our chief guest, Dr. Samumurthy, Samumurthy Bhatmavari, Principal and Associate Professor, PG Research Department of Commerce, 
श्री एस एस शाशुन जैन कॉलेज वुमेन्स चेन्नई फॉर इयर एक्सप्रेस एंड स्पीच इन ग्रेजुएट आई एक्सटेंड माय सिंसियरेस्ट थैंक्स टू आवर कॉलेज मैनेजमेंट मेंबर्स प्रेसिडेंट श्री दयाचंद चवनचुका सेक्रेटरी एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन श्री डॉक्टर हरीशल मेहता सेक्रेटरी एकेडमिक एंड फाइनेंस श्री जसवंत मोनो प्रिंसिपल इंचार्ज डॉक्टर सी मुर्गेशन प्रोफेसर इंचार्ज डॉक्टर एम शक्तिवेल मुर्गन हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट डॉक्टर ए नर्मदा एंड अदर फैकल्टी मेंबर्स फॉर द कंटिन्यूअस सपोर्ट एंड गाइडेंस विद एस ऑन द ओकेजन आई एक्सटेंड माय थैंक्स गोस टू ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स एक्टिव पार्टिसिपेशन वंस अगेन थैंक यू वन एंड ऑल thank you sir tell me and i forget teach me and i may remember involve me and i learn so we are here to learn something and as mentioned earlier the technical session will start by 11 o'clock and the presenters can join the respective sessions and followed by the valedictory section see you soon thank you